The opening round of the Farmers Insurance Open started just a couple of hours ago. Yeah, top golfers from around the world are at Torrey Pines right now competing for the top prize. CBS 8's Steve Price is live with all the excitement and the story of one of the dedicated volunteers who helps to pull the big event off. Steve? Yeah, Jesse and Heather, the first round just now wrapping up. Still a few golfers out here on the course. Uh, your leader at this point, Kevin Yu, he played the north course, not surprisingly that he was on the easier north course at the top of the leaderboard. In fact, 16 of the top 18 golfers on the leaderboard right now all played the north course. San Diego's Xander Shoffley, he played the south course. Check out this video. We caught up with him as he was teeing off earlier today on the very first hole. Uh, he was looking pretty good at as well. The conditions out here, I'll tell you, considering that storm we had on Monday, players say the greens, they're soft and that is good for them because their ball less likely to roll after hitting the green. That puts them closer to the hole, which is part of the reason why we're seeing such good first round scores today. Uh, today's first round, it went off without a hitch and a big part of that, yes, it is thanks to all those volunteers who are out here. Volunteers like Beth Bishop, who is working her 55th Farmers Insurance Open. In fact, it was called the Andy Williams Open when she started, and she shared with me some of her favorite memories. I scored for Arnold Palmer, and he autographed my scorecard. I get my tiger hugs every time I see him. I was scoring for Lee Trevino one year, um, and we got to the 15th hole and it started to hail. <laughs> of course, you said Lee Trevino started to dance and tell jokes because that's what, you know, Lee Trevino always did. Okay, if you want to head on out here, tickets are still available for Friday, for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, of course, the last two rounds, Friday, Saturday, those tickets are a little expensive, a little more expensive than uh, tomorrow, but you can see there are still tickets available. As for parking, let me go ahead and show you a list of locations, uh, places like the Del Mar Fairgrounds. There's a shuttle there, but of course, parking there a lot cheaper than if you park closer, say using the Hilton Valet, uh, those rates close to $100 if you're doing that. But I'll tell you what, considering what kind of weather we had on Monday, folks out here very excited about the conditions and the fact that the weather is changing and it is so far so good. Jesse and Heather. Sounds like it. I'm glad to hear that the weather has not been impacting. Do they have any eyes on the forecast? Or could there be any changes coming just in case? No, the forecast looks good. In fact, you know, when you know it, that on Saturday is supposed to be the best day, which is going to be the day most people are watching it on TV. So imagine those folks who are in, say, you know, Buffalo that are watching <laughs> the Tory, you know, the, here at Tory Pines, and it's, you know, in the 70s, and we're going to be out here in short sleeves. You know, we just rub it in. We just yeah. rub it in. By the way, we're going to hear more from Beth at 5 o'clock. She is a character. We got some good stuff with her as well. All right. Tough day on the job for you, Steve Price, but you know what? You deserve it. You're a hard worker. Every now and then you spend the day Someone's on the Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. And don't forget, CBS 8 will have live coverage of the third round on Friday. That starts at 2 p.m. And on Saturday, our coverage of the final round begins at 1 p.m.